Coach, thoughts on uh, today's game? Well, I think it was a car carbon copy of Thursday's game. <laughs> One good quarter, and then three quarters, we just can't score the basketball. Uh, really, since we've been, uh, again, another great defensive game. Hold, if you hold a team to 59, you should win every game. But uh, we got to figure, we'll figure it out. Uh, but just like last game, when it got down to crunch time, uh, we didn't make any shots at the end of the game. And we had, had open looks. So um, just got to keep working. It's a long conference season. And we want to play our best at the end of the year. And certainly we're not right now. So we'll go back to work on Monday. Uh, obviously, uh, out of uh, battling through injury, and uh, team had some uh, open looks tonight, but the ball just uh, doesn't drop at times. So, what, what do you attribute the, uh, I guess, the the shooting struggles that that, th that this team is going through these last couple games, as you mentioned? Oh man, I, that's kind of the million dollar question. I wish I knew. Uh, I've been coaching a long time, and I've never seen a struggle like this. So, I know we got to do better getting the ball inside. Which, you know, Deb had a nice game. Charlotte had a nice game, but. I just think right now that uh, we're struggling to make open shots, and it's frustrating because I really like our team. I, I like them a lot, and I think we got a chance to be really good. But uh, we've got a couple days to try to figure it out. I, can't, I don't have an answer for it right now. It's got to be better. And you mentioned it was just one game in the, in the next 10 days. Uh, so what, what do you hope to, to focus on and work on in, in this, uh, this time where you have one, one game in the next 10 days? This is going to be huge for us. We've got to try to find a fight and find a win at uh, UT Arlington, and then it gives us nine days to go back to the drawing board. And uh, I think it'll be really good for our team, and hopefully we'll come out of that uh, with a lot of firepower. Because that first quarter was fun to watch. It was awesome. You put four of those together every game, you're scoring 80 points. You know, And that's what we got to get to. So, uh, like I said, again, defense is good. You know, we kind of make some silly mistakes. I think we had a nine-point lead, and we had a chance to really extend it. We had a breakaway layup, and we missed the layup, and we got it blocked. And, you know, you make that play, now it's 11. And so it just, you know, it just seems like we're hitting some bad luck plays. Balls are bouncing around, and you know, it seemed like they got every one of them. And so, yeah, we just got to turn the – I think we all need to go to church Sunday or something and try to figure it out. Mel, uh, so with the out, obviously a bunch of players being asked, asked to, to step up and fill her, fill her role offensively, you come through with 16 uh, tonight. So uh, can you talk about uh, what this team needs, needs to do to kind of turn things around after opening conference play with the 0-2 record? Um, I know Coach talked to us in the locker room about being consistent. I think if each player comes and does what they are capable of doing, we can possibly win. We just need to be more consistent and trust each other and trust our coaches. Um, when you look at perhaps getting more production from the bench squad, any any early assessments that you kind of maybe saw today that, that you know could perhaps help in, in future games and might want to test out in practice? Well, I, you know, when Casey was 11-point game scorer for us as a freshman. She's really struggled all year. It's good to see her knock two down. Maybe that'll get her going. Um, and then, uh, you know, Haley's struggling right now. And we need to get her back to where she was. And, same with Janae. But yeah, it's it's just one of those deals where I think they're all capable and we gotta find in the next, like you said, ten days when we have off that we need to find some confidence. And I think basketball's a game of confidence and emotion and if you believe in each other and you believe in your coaches and uh, you believe that your your teammate is just as important as you are, good things are gonna happen, but right now we just we're not there yet. Coach, two things I wanted to ask you on. Uh, eight points for you guys. It's just kind of been a little bit of a struggle. You just continue to just try to feed the ball down there to see where your offense can be generated from. Because I know you, you're a coach that said in the past that, hey, we like to have a touch inside and then perhaps a kick out to an open shooter. That's exactly right, right, right. That's what we've been trying to get to do. But uh, we did, I can tell you a stat from the New Mexico State game. We shot 70% when the ball touched the paint or the post player. So we either scored it in there or it was kicked out for an open shot against New Mexico State. We shot 7%, two for 27, when it didn't touch the paint or the post. There's your answer right there. So we gotta continue to keep, keep the ball going inside out and we'll work on it all next week. 
I guess the last one on, on my end, you, you, know, the, you touched upon the, the paid situation, but now the second chance uh, situations. It just seems like you guys were struggling a lot in the first half to get ground on those loose balls, but all of a sudden that, that flips into the second half, and yet, however, it just didn't translate to the points that you guys needed to put up up there on the board. What, uh, just uh, how do you just uh, redeem it's, those second chance opportunities it's, there? It's just one of the things we talked about at halftime. And we got beat for every loose ball. All balls were tipping around instead of just grabbing it. And we're trying, you know, we got beat on every. Those are called 50-50 ball. We got beat on every one of them. Second half until the end of the game, we fixed that problem. But then at the end of the game, we missed a couple we should have done. Mel. I mean, she did a great job, offensive rebounds there, trying to keep us in the game. Uh, those are the second chance points that we need, especially when you're struggling to score. But uh, yeah, the 50-50 balls were embarrassing. Thank you, Coach. Yep.